Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, which is series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils um, fragrances incense etc etc it's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles making candles at home or buying them scented and colored and we go into discussion about that as well that is with Tracy uh, Castledine Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, my Sagittarius. How are you? I hope you're well. And thank you very much for all your likes and shares. I'm amazed and I'm really pleased. Thank you very, very much. Okay, my Seji, you have, I've shaken the cards before I began and I'm using the transparent tarot and the everyday witch tarot uh, because I'm working in the theme of Halloween. And I hope you are following us, Georgina and me, on the witches series. It's absolutely great fun and it will be more fun because I'm going to make something two things out of just one thing and it's really lovely so I hope you will join us there okay my darlings and you've got the magician you are the magician okay you have everything within you um, and around you to make this new start as the magician is number one in the tarot the big arcana news is coming towards you which will help you okay you might be meeting a Gemini or uh, a Libra or uh, an Aquarius more like mo more likely to be an Aquarius because it's the page of swords um, and they will could give you some instructions perhaps they will bring you news that you've been waiting for this new beginning because this is the new beginning and the Empress is a new beginning and the Empress represents Libra so it could also be legal news because swords uh, stand for municipalities and institutions if you are in a judicial situation then uh, you will get official news of course okay you have uh, done magic you will get proper good news because this new beginning is definitely coming towards you okay um, or you could be meeting an Aquarius like I said or a Libra now you hold the key be transparent be honest stay on the straight and narrow because we do have air signs in here and this could also be a Gemini because I just remembered the magician also means Gemini or Aries so you could be meeting up with one of them people as well one of those persons so all three air signs are here general and individual okay so use your talents use your wisdom use the gift of the gab to get what you want so it's the Gemini's and the air signs can sell ice cubes to Eskimos so be transparent like I said and have all your facts ready you are strong enough because you are rooted you're grounded you are in your power with these cards definitely if you want to get pregnant then you might get official news from the doctor that you're pregnant okay because that's the Empress the time is fertile for something new this could be a birth of a project or a child okay could be a new job boom there we go then we have the three of cups you will be celebrating whoa and the Empress she nurtures everything like the magician she's like a magician because she makes something out of nothing from seeds they grow and they sprout out and then they blossom and then she plucks the harvest the magician he does it his own way okay so something big is happening for you Sagittarius look you've got celebrations Yahoo I wonder what it is let me know in the reactions please it could be exam results it could be that you have passed your exam it could be that you've got this beautiful house that you've wanted and you've done your magic or you might be doing your magic in the house refurbishing it and you might giving a you might even I all of a sudden I get housewarming party boom okay and in Holland you're not allowed to have more than three people in the house so that's quite significant three people if you are in a judicial situation 
um, Scorpio had judicial issues as well um, you will be winning because you're celebrating and you here again you've got the Libra so you've got Libra as the Empress and the Libra as the Justice card justice will be done if you've been feeling uh, out of sorts and out of balance you will be feeling back in balance again at the end of the week okay now since this is so magic with these cards you can layer them um, I would say Wednesday Thursday because this is layering Monday Wednesday Friday then we've got Mon uh, Monday and Wednesday so midweek you at definitely at the end of the week you will be balanced you can relax a little bit but definitely at the beginning of the week once you get that news you can go for it you've got victory you're back in balance if you are in a judicial situation you will get what you deserve and the other one as well okay you might even be getting engaged or married that could be the um, celebration a wedding reception right this could be the um, uh, municipality the uh, justice is municipality or institutions you might be getting married the registry office boom and look at this you have the three of wands your plans are coming to fruition and everything is in balance people joining in you've got three three so that is significant as well because that means that the angels and the divine have your back so now it is even there's no third party in a relationship because now there are six people you can literally see everybody celebrating your plans are coming to fruition and you're in balance you can start afresh and build something for that is tangible and long lasting and this is the shortest video I think that I've made because it's so straightforward but you can see the crowd here you've also got recognition there the crowd is celebrating on your behalf it's coming in with speed okay it could come in through email text message or a telephone call okay perhaps you're finding out you're pregnant this is a child so the child is in the reading and you have got the Empress which means fertility so it's the fertile time to get pregnant if you want to if you don't want to then uh, take precautions okay I'm taking this one popped out laugh it out wow yes you will be laughing when your plans come to fruition this is like the Sun is shining on you look at the light beaming down on the sunflowers okay laughter untangles the knot of difficulties before despair can settle in even serious situations are under divine management to laugh is to feel good again by accepting the mysterious ways that's the magician feeling good celebrating okay accepting the mysterious way of things ease up in order to gain a fresh perspective no matter how it looks no this everything is as it should be the divine has assigned a spiritual guardian to watch over you wow definitely beautiful and I supposed to have done that the last card because I nearly forgot the overall card for you my darlings now I'm just busy shaking the everyday witch card sorry I didn't go live last night but I've been really really busy with this series and it's getting better and better I was whacked okay I haven't even finished editing them yet you've got the Queen of Swords Wow so that like I said there could be a Gemini or a Libra 
the Queen of Swords is Libra you've got two Libra so now you've got three cards representing Libra so you could be meeting up with a Libra but don't exclude Aquarius or Gemini okay she is a lady she has her con uh, uh, her emotions under control because she knows she has to be as sharp sharp to the point and she has to be really sharp because something is happening and um, she needs to uh, dig deep to get to the bottom of things of the truth perhaps you might be doing that digging up information um, to get to the truth to get the truth out and the truth always prevails to get your justice if you are in a legal situation there could be a third party at present but that will disp that will be dispersed that third party will not bother you anymore this queen will help you uh, dig she will dig deep down for you to get the right information okay take a page out of her book if you're not meeting up with a Libra or a Queen of Swords uh, but stick to the straight and narrow like I said in the beginning then the truth will come out and you will get the necessary information perhaps somebody else is doing it for you like the Queen of Swords and you they will send you the news they will bring you the news like I said Wow you are stronger than you think Sagittarius and just keep your emotions under control because the truth is coming out and fast justice will be done she's also a very humoristic person um, she can also be very um, what do you call it Com a, a great big comedian she'll cut straight through to to the point but she can be a great comedian but she has everything under control don't worry everything will come to you what you deserve you're the magician you've done the research you've sown the seeds they're going to come to fruition now because that is what the Empress um, represents okay you've nurtured this project you could have studied and now you're getting your diploma you've gained the knowledge you've nurtured this discourse the to gain knowledge because that's what the Queen of um, Swords also stand for this could be your teacher that has helped you Wow magic okay or your lawyer or advisor legal advisor so go for it don't isolate yourself off and don't isolate cut yourself off um, emotionally okay just have your emotions under control she is a good mother but she has her emotions under control if you need a hug and somebody's not showing you affection then say something about it okay take care god bless and stay safe ciao ciao